this time of isolation, social media platforms are a way to stay connected with your friends and family. The quizzes on social media seem innocent enough and a great way to learn more about each other, but the information you share is valuable to criminals. Roseanne Freitas from the Better Business Bureau of Hawaii joins us once again to explain. Good morning, Roseanne. Good morning, Christine. Now, these quizzes, I've seen them, I've seen people take them, and they seem fun, they seem innocent, but why do we need to be cautious? And you're right, they are fun, and especially in this time when we're stuck in our houses and we don't have an opportunity to interact. And they, while they seem fun, they are also giving out inf valuable information. So if you stop and think about the questions that they're asking you, like, what was the name of your first dog? What was the street you grew up on? What is your favorite color? These are all ans questions that you'll give the answers to, and they're your security questions as well for most of your financial institutions. So that's where you need to be really careful because now someone else has the answers to your security questions. So what's your recommendation about taking these quizzes or what you can share in terms of personal information? It's good. That's a really good question, Christine, because most of these quizzes are harmless. They're not out to get you, but at the same time, you need to be very careful. So if you're answering questions that are, you know, your security questions, you probably need to not answer that one. So, or make sure that your security questions are something very difficult that maybe somebody wouldn't ask. Another thing is most definitely increase your security on your Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or any of those so that um, only your friends see it. But still then that's not enough. You really just need to be careful on what you answer. Any other steps you can take to keep the data secure on social media? Well, one good thing is don't put out your birth date or year that you were born. Um, don't give out your home address, your phone number, any of those pers personal information that people might use to verify your access to your accounts. Basically, just be really careful with kind of information you're sharing because you can share some, but just think about what you really are sharing and how it can be used later to hurt you. Exactly. And so you have to be super careful there. And while I get it, it's fun and I, I enjoy reading them too, but just think about it. So would the criminals if they're trying to access your account. Exactly. Thank you so much, Roseanne Freitas from the BBB for joining us again once this morning. Thank you, Christine. And we'll be back.